Hello friends and welcome. In this segment of the video, I am going to show you how to create gauge, card and KPI visualization in Power BI desktop. Now if I move on to my next slide, in this slide you can easily understand what is the revenue so far, what is the target revenue and what is the maximum revenue that you can achieve it out here. So in this segment you can easily visualize that it is showing me revenue achieved versus the target revenue out here. So you can make a proper business decision and we can see what is the lag that we are carrying so far. So if this particular region is showing me what is the lag which needs to be achieved and how to get this kind of visualization you simply have to use the gauge visualization which will give me a report like this all right moving on with the next one is the card visualization now my card visualization is simply a numeric representation of the field generally the most common usage of this is to keep the number short for an example out here it is 5 billion you can make it either 5 billion or you can type as 5 followed along with nine zeros so it is completely up to you that what kind of representation that you want to show in this card visualization another thing that i'd like to add in this card visualization is that we can concatenate it with certain kind of text all right now as you can see you can see the progress till date and a number following along with it. So basically what we have to do out here is we have to create a DAX expression in such a way that I will uh, concatenate with a certain text and following along with some DAX expression in such a way that it gives me a result like this following along with a text and a number associated with it. So this was about card visualization and the third one is my KPI indicator. So what it says sometimes when building reports you may have to track just one single key performance indicator. Now out here you can see whenever you have the target uh, column ready with you you can see what has the goal achieved so far and what is the lag behind. So it automatically the KPI visualization will automatically uh, judge your uh, or it will uh, analyze the data that you have given and then give me a visualization like this out here so let's go ahead and see how to create all this visualization in our practical approach hello friends and welcome in this video we are going to see the gauge card and the KPI projection in power BI all right so let's quickly get started off now as you can see there is no projection on my screen I have created a new page out here in which we'll be getting the gauge card and the KPI projection all right let's quickly start with the gauge projection in order to create the gauge projection we have to go under the visualization pane and under that I will simply click on this gauge projection the moment I click on it I get a empty projection right in front of my screen I will go ahead and add some data to it in order to add the data I will refer to the sales fact table and under the sales fact table I will select this revenue and drag it to the gauge projection the moment I get drag drag it to the gauge projection you can see it is showing you a figure that a 4.91 billion revenue has been generated so far now by default it is taking zero as the starting point and 10 billion as the maximum point so generally how this is defined generally it always start with a zero marking and it takes a projection which is double the revenue size or whatever your sales must be or units must be so whatever amount it is there it generally occupies the double of it and give it as maximum all right so this is what about the basic projection of gauge now let's go ahead and add some formatting to it now in order to add a format I have to go under this format pane in which you can see there are bunch of options now these are the options that we have been seeing out for the rest of our previous projection now the uh, unique of uh, option that we see out here is my gauge axis which is not seen in the previous projection so if I click on this drop down menu you can see I out here I can either set a minimum a maximum and a target now let's take for an example for this particular gauge projection I want the minimum marking to be as 2 billion and a maximum marking of uh, let's say 8 billion all right and also we are going to set a target that means that uh, if you are uh, projecting that your sales employee would should generate a minimum 
sales of let's say 7 billion so we will get an indicator out here in such a way that it should read at least the indicator to fetch the target amount all right guys so let's quickly go ahead and add the minimum uh, access so my minimum should be 2 billion so it will be 2 followed al along with uh, 9 zeros all right the moment you click on uh, the moment you type 2 billion you can see the projection out here has changed to 2 billion maximum as i have told you that it should be 8 billion so 8 follow along with uh, nine zeros all right as you can see out here the maximum projection is for eight billion and i set a target of let's say six billion all right so if i say if i set a target of six billion you can see there is a marker or an indicator that means it should i should reach a minimum target of 6 billion and as we can see from this projection there is still a gap left out here so this is how you can create a gauge uh, projection for you depending on what should be the minimum what should be the maximum and what should be the target out here so this is what a uh, whole about the gauge projection you can do much more other things using this particular format paints and changing the color of it changing the size of it changing the axis changing the lock axis aspect the background color the title depending on what you want let's say if i want the title add to be a center so i'll get the title at center right i'll just increase the font of it so let's make it a little much more bigger all right so it is revenue so far all right so this is how you can create a gauge expression or a great gauge projection now let me quickly move on to the card projection and see how it works so next to gauge projection i have this card projection i will simply click on this now this is a card an empty card out here so what we will be do we have already taken the revenue this time i'll take the unit section and drag it here so basically a card is showing me that how many units that it has sold so far that is 11 million units has been sold so far and it is showing me into a card that's it nothing more about this particular projection but what we can do out here is we can create a calculated column and get the projection and get the desired text on that projection and how it is done let me show it to you quickly I will go under the home tab and first I will create a new column that is a calculated column all right and this calculated column will talk about the progress right which will be equals to the I would like to get some uh, text along with it so let's say progress so far all right I say progress so far or till date progress till date which sounds good so right so progress till date I will close the double inverted commas use an ampersand get a hyphen in between all right using the double quotes and and I'd like to get the sum of the sum of let's say the total units all right so from the unit uh, sales fact table it will pick the units and it will give me sum of all the sales that they, they have sold so far and the moment I hit enter you can see it's working on it and it has created a new column altogether that is my progress card uh, the progress column all right now what we'll be doing out here i will take a card projection drop it here okay i have the card projection and the moment i drop this progress in this card see what happens so it is giving me that so far what is the progress till date and it is showing me the sum of all the units to be units that have sold so far so isn't that great guys so this is the first progress and this is the text that we have given in our uh, formula itself and it is showing me the number of units that has been sold that is the sum of units so this is how you can express uh, the proper projection depending on what uh, is the unit that you'd like to display using a DAX expression under the new column all right so you can create a new DAX expression let's say you would like to calculate the average what should be the target what should be the maximum right and you can create a card for the same as well okay so this was all about the card projection using a, no a simple card projection and using a DAX formula or that is a DAX expression all right so now we will quickly move on to the KPI projection now under the KPI projection we have to go to this particular section which says KPI and this is giving you an uh, uh, 
projection an empty KPI projection what we have to do out here we have to fill this indicators and the trend axis all right so what we will be doing out here is I'll go to the sales fact and uh, let's say I will first drag the number of years out here in the indicators and I will be getting the number of uh, let's take units and I'll drag it to this particular section now the moment I will close this I will close this as well and I'll get the so let's start with the KPI projection in order to get the KPI projection I will simply select this particular projection KPI projection I get a blank screen or a blank projection out here now out here I have to fill this indicator and the trend axis and if you have a target goals we can fill in this as well now quickly we will go ahead and give the indicator that it should give me the number of units the number of units that has been sold so far along the number of years so the moment I drop these two features out here you can see there is a uh, at the behind of this particular KPI gauge you can see there has been increase in the sales for this for starting period of the years but there has been a drop which can be seen out here and there's a significant drop out here which can be seen in the KPI projection now these all projection are very useful in the automotive sectors where they generally use the K, uh, KPI projection and the waterfall projection now this becomes much more an easy job out here which shows me that what is the number of units sold so far and it is also showing me the range the range that how the unit has been been behaving or how it has been selling so far as you can see there is a trend in the beginning and there's a drop out here as well so this is what it's all about about the KPI projection in Power BI Hopefully you guys like this video where we have learned how to create the gauge card, the normal card, the gauge projection, the card projection and the KPI projection using the visualization pane. Alright guys, this was all for this video. See you until next time.